Hi, so welcome back to my ASMR channel, um, the Dizzy Jewels. So I just wanted to show you some craft items that I'm going to be working with. Um, I plan to do a couple of videos based on um, crafting or arts and crafts. Um, and so like this first item is just... Uh, a do-it-yourself succulent planter um, and it's air dry clay so basically you have a picture here of the type of outcome you can have if you follow um, the project guide and well you can see there's some um, succulent plants that you can make so there's a uh, green air dry clay uh, yellow and this light pink air dry clay and yeah it's just a little cool project and you can see right here is the air dry clay and the little um, wooden box that's the planter for your clay plants um, and it's just like a fun little crafting thing uh, as you can tell from my shirt I'm a fan of succulents and I bought this shirt from Target it was only ten dollars uh, I think it's a really good value I love the color yellow uh, this mustard yellow color and then it has pictures of various plants that you can find in like desert or arid climates um, I actually have a succulent plant in my apartment it's a little tiny one very easy to care for I don't think you have to worry about it um, dying really they're very uh, very tough plants and can live through a lot um, so yeah I plan to make a video um, with this and then my next video will be um, or maybe a series of videos will be um, making these little uh, I guess you'd call them dioramas or little models. So I got this at a bookstore that uh, I live nearby and it's basically a paper model kit. Um, it has step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this um, little, you know, slice of life uh, record room. Or sorry, that's not a record room, it's record mood. Um, so they call this little one the study. So you're building yourself a mini study. And you can see there's a cute little typewriter, a desk, a little cute little chair, some plants. Um, uh, yeah, some little finger figurines. It's really cute. Um, and I guess the brand of this is DIY House, Hide Little Thoughts in Words. Um, so there's like a whole series of these that you can make. Um, I thought this one looked the, the coolest, so that's why I grabbed it. And they have one called Taste Life, which is a mini kitchen. Sweet Dream, which is the bedroom. And Bubble Bath, which is the shower area. I didn't see the Sweet Dream one where I was at. Otherwise, I think I might have got that one because that one looks really fun too. Ooh, so the recommended age is 14 plus, so I should be able to make this. Um, and it comes with everything you need to build this little area. Um, the main material is wood, paper, and metal. Um, I've opened this side, and there's also paints and stuff in here. So that's exciting, because I really like to paint. I have a lot of art supplies. Um, it comes with a little booklet, which I'll show you inside. It's like a lot of instructions on how to build this seems really fun and I need to set aside maybe like an hour or two to actually get everything done 
Um, you can see there's like these little paints. I'm not really sure what they're for, but there's also glue, a little glue tube. So it's really a self-contained art project because they provide basically all the materials you would need to build this. Um, I like the sound, the crinkly sound that this makes. And they also have little tools like paint brushes, um, beads, uh, some like maybe metal or nylon rope, some really hard type of rope. And it even comes with forceps, that's cool. Toothpicks. Pretty much everything you would need to build. And then looking all, at all this stuff, I'm just like, well, how is all this going to come together? It seems like random pieces and parts. And then like all these sheets of wood and, um, you know, different fabric materials. Hmm. It's really going to test my um, ability, ability to follow directions and my crafting ability as well. Um, I'm really, I really want to get into, you know, clay modeling. It just looks like a lot of fun. Um, and the only thing is, I'm not very good at it. I have some clay stuff, air dry clay that I bought. And I think I need to watch some videos on how to work with it because the other day I was trying to make a clay model and it was going to be something simple like a golf ball. <laughs> Super easy, right? You can't mess it up. And while I was using this modeling clay that I got in an art store, um, creative paper clay, you can see here. I sealed it in the Ziploc bag so it doesn't dry out. Um, it's supposed to be like a really good um, type of clay that it's artist grade. Um, and it's white in color. It's the only thing I couldn't figure out how to work with it. Every time like I tried to mold it into a ball or into any object really, it would just they'd get very like crumbly um, and it would have cracks in it. And I was like, this isn't the way clay is supposed to be. Like why is it acting like this? So you see I'm here, like there's pieces here that are all like cracked and bunched up and I, for the life of me, I could not, no matter how much I like, try to condition the clay or tease it, it just wasn't making like a smooth, um, round, solid object. So I was getting really frustrated and I was like, I'm totally failing at this hobby that I wanted to get into. And I was kind of disappointed, so. I was able to sculpt this funny little foot. <laughs> this is all I could do. <laughs> you can see here. Um, yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> it's like not anatomically correct. There's little to no detail and there's cracks in it. <laughs> but at least it, you can tell it's a foot based off of just looking at it. I think you can anyways. And I think it's cute. It's a cute crusty foot. So I, it took me probably an hour just to do this. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm pretty sure I have to watch some um, tutorials on what you have to do to work with clay because I thought it was just you take it out of the bag and you can start working with it and it's moldable from the get-go or at least that type of clay should be right because it's just you know basic air dry clay it's not actual clay that 
you know, you spin on a wheel and you have to bake and stuff like that. Um, so I thought it was going to be something cool and easy to get into and uh, so frustrating when I couldn't even roll a ball <laughs> of clay. Um, I don't even know how I managed to get this foot. <laughs> um, I would, uh, yeah, I have, I even have some clay tools. I'll show you. Um, if I can find them. There's some right here. show you really quickly what I was working with. So this was a silicone mat um, that I bought at, I think it was Michael's, and I bought it just so that the desk area wouldn't get, you know, caked in clay while I was rolling it out. And I read that silicone or baking mats um, are really good um, when working, doing small clay projects because the clay won't really stick to the mat, so. Um, and here's some of the, uh, tools that I was working with to construct this impressively detailed foot. So yeah, you can see basic plastic with some metal bearings at the end, um, basic clay molding tools. Um, I think I bought these at an art store. Um, and yeah, there's like these tips that you can use for detailing um and then like this is a little ball tip you can make smooth things out or make little holes this is like a flat tip that you can also use to make details with um yeah so i bought all this stuff in anticipation and excitement of making my first art project or clay art project, but it didn't really work out the way I was planning. Let me take out some of the air here. I even bought some of these. That's not too loud. Oh, jeez. I need to really organize that drawer. But, um, it's like these little, um, plastic articulating, um, joints that you can make. Um, so you can see, you can break them um break them up into pieces or break them up into different sizes because they're easily uh breakable and they're flexible um you can also stick them into clay so you can make like here they have an example of antenna that they made um you can make them into like arms um and stuff like that legs and I, would, I bought these because I wanted to do like a little mini, you know, figurines. Uh, not necessarily um, like human type figurines, but I was thinking more like, um, you know, creatures, um, stuff like that. Maybe like, I don't know, something cool like a zombie. <laughs> um, but that's going to be a long way away if I can't even make a foot. It was a gift. I gave it to somebody, and I hope they liked it, but I'm not sure. 
And I also have this other brand of hair dry clay. So I'm pretty sure that I bought this one from Michaels. Um, I know there's a cool, very cool independent art store near me. Um, it's really close, maybe like a five minute drive, and they have like so much art supplies. It's like maybe half the size of Michael's, but they have way more art supplies than Michael's. Like, um, they have like all different types of paints, um, color pencils, markers, um, clay, um, it's just paint brushes, you know. And it's all reasonably priced for what it is. Uh, but when I, I like to go to Michael's too to check out what they have. And I wanted to see what type of clay they had. And so they had this brand, Sculpey Air Dry. has a do not oven bake <laughs> insignia right there. And... It's, I wanted white, but they didn't have white. They had this, I don't know what they call it, terracotta color. Um, so the cool thing about clay is that you can paint over it with acrylics and then seal it um, with some type of varnish and you can make it basically whatever color you want. Um, so that's what I found to do with this and the white clay. Um, and they have some little design ideas, like you can make jewelry with this, um, little figurines. Um, and it's 2.2 pounds, this is pretty hefty. I think it was reasonably priced too, was, I don't remember the exact price, but it was probably like eight dollars. Um, so hopefully, I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it's a little bit easier to work with than that other, um, I want to say the other one was more professional grade, um, modeling clay, whereas this one's just more like, um, DIY clay, like, not necessarily professional grade, it's more like, because it wasn't very expensive, um, whereas the other one was, and... So maybe that's why I had a hard time working with the other one, just because I'm sure my technique wasn't very sound. I didn't really know what I was doing, I was just messing around. Hopefully this one is uh, a little bit more beginner friendly clay and is easier to mold and it's a little bit softer and it doesn't crack as easily. Um, but we'll see. I haven't opened it or tested it yet. I want to say I bought it last year for my birthday. It was like a little birthday gift. Just haven't had the time to, you know, sit down and work with the clay. But that's what I'm planning to do now that I have a little bit more time is do some art projects that I really wanted to do. Um, and this video is basically me just talking about what I'm interested in. Um, I'm kind of just rambling here. I don't think this video is actually already kind of long, 18 minutes, so I don't think I'll have time to start a project right now, um, but in the future I will definitely, I think the first one I'm going to start with is, you know, easy level, entry level clay project. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to mess this up, um, so I'll, it's for ages 6 plus, I should be able to do this. Um, so yeah, this will probably be my first art video, um, and I'm by no means an artist, I just do it because I think it's fun, and I enjoy it, I'm kind of a per perfectionist, so I can really, you know, get my perfectionism, or I don't know, my, uh, my tendencies towards perfectionism in my art, <laughs> it comes across in my art, because anytime I do, like, a drawing or a painting, it's very meticulous, um, and it's very well thought out. 
um, I know that's, that's not really, like, the purpose of art. Art is, like, expressing yourself and, um, being free, but I kind of use art to get out that side of me in a healthy way. So, like, my little OCD tendencies that I have, I use art to, like, um, get them out in a productive way. So... I'll probably do this first and I'll probably look try to I'll probably try to make it exactly like it is in this picture. Just to know, just to show that I can follow directions. And um yeah, so I'll probably do my first video. My second one is gonna be I probably won't be able to show you the whole, make a whole video of from start to finish, but I can make clips of this or several videos of me trying to build this. Um, it's probably going to take me a while. I haven't done an art project like this since I was a kid, um, maybe since I was like 12 or so. Um, so I don't know how long this is going to take me. We'll see. If I'm estimating, it's probably going to take me a good three hours total to put this together. Then I have a really short attention span, so oftentimes I'll start or stop something um, and forget about it and then start and stop it again. Um, oh my gosh, that was my dog. He's sighing. He's probably annoying that I'm talking while he's trying to sleep. Um, but, yeah, I, I usually, if I'm not into a, a project or into something, I'll start and stop it, and sometimes I just won't even finish it because I'll be like, well, if I'm not enjoying the process, why am I going to finish it? Um, but on the other hand, when I find something that I'm really interested in and really invested in I tend to get you know very hyper focused on it um to the point where I can stay up till like 3 a.m um drawing something or painting something and I won't even I won't be sleepy I won't be hungry I won't be thirsty while I'm doing you know this thing that I'm invested in it's just I just get so hyper focused on finishing the whatever it is whatever it is that um that I'll go hours um without you know breaking my focus from the task um and that's just that's not with art specifically that I experience you know um that hyper focusing it's basically an air in any area of my life that I'm very invested in. Um, I often do that at work. I noticed where a lot of the times I will be very, very focused on finishing a task to the point where um, I won't be able to think or do anything else until I finish it, which can be beneficial, but can also be, you know, detrimental. Um, Um, and I also tend to hyper-focus on uh, exercising. When I'm exercising, uh, especially if I'm exercising on my own, um, I will just, like, totally zone out and just think about what, um, basically think about nothing. So, like, if I'm out running, I'll listen to music, but I'm not really hearing the music. I'm just so focused on, you know, doing my running goal and pushing myself as much as I can that everything kind of is just like tunnel vision. Um, same thing when I'm lifting weights, I get tunnel vision and I just want to like focus on lifting and increasing my lifts. Um, and yeah, that's just... 
that's just the way my mind works. Anything that I enjoy, I get it's like a hyper focus, and I can't just have like a casual focus of it. It's always like all or nothing. Um, especially with video games, it's so hard for me to be a casual gamer because I just that's not the way I operate. I can't be casual about anything. So when I do find a game that I like, I'll spend hours playing it just like I call a duty. I've probably spent uh, like a good thousand hours <laughs> playing that game. Not, not one specific Call of Duty, but just like the several Black Ops and Modern Warfare games that they released. Um, probably put in a thousand hours of playing it. <laughs> it's crazy to think about, but that's just the way I am. And well, this video is turning out a lot longer than I expected, and I didn't really do anything on it. wasn't really anything creative or productive. Um, it was just me rambling and talking about future videos that I want to do, future art projects. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. It's my second ASMR video um, for my channel. So I'm trying to make this channel, um, one part of it's going to be like ASMR stuff because that's what I'm really, I really enjoy A A ASMR so I want to produce videos um, as well as ASMR videos as well as kind of like um, vlog style videos. My life's not super interesting, I don't really have a lot to showcase to the world. Um, but one thing that I do want to share is my journey of having, of dealing with, you know, cr a chronic illness, which I have very, pretty severe vestibular dysfunction. Uh, so I experience, you know, constant vertigo attacks, basically 24 seven. And I just want to make a, a series of vlogs about you know me healing or trying to heal from my vestibular dysfunction um, and you know trying to live a healthy lifestyle when you're battling a chronic illness uh, basically an invisible disability um, so yeah I uh, hope you enjoy the videos that I put out on my YouTube channel, The Dizzy Jewels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.